So welcome back to another week of The Mock Project. Thank you to all those people who have subscribed or liked the videos, really appreciate your support. Uh, this week, we have a full school assembly to welcome the year, some parent-teacher interviews, uh, along with a day in the city for some professional learning. So it looks like it's gonna be an exciting week, and let's have a look. Well, this morning I've made my way into the city for some professional learning. Uh, I know a little bit about what is going to happen. I've had to do some homework uh, before I got here, but I'm pretty excited to spend, uh, it's five days over this year with a group of uh, like-minded leaders from across schools in Melbourne. And it's also nice just to be out and about in the city. You don't have to wear the shirt and tie. So really looking forward to what today might bring. So really fortunate this morning to have a young Indigenous man with us, Mitch. We first met Mitch last year at the Drama Australia conference and he was so amazing that day with his dance and storytelling that we thought it was really important to get him in and expose our students to Indigenous culture. <laughs> Okay, so typical teacher duty just happened then. A young man in that dance class, Indigenous dance class, left his bag, or someone actually picked up his bag accidentally because they all look the same, and he was a little bit upset. So I've gone on the hunt for the bag because the students after our class were split into four different language classes. So I visited four classrooms, we found the bag, he's happy, but eats up you know, 20 minutes of your time uh, when you're meant to be planning. And these are the sort of things that happen all the time on a day-to-day -day basis in teaching. Bees are above Emily Sachs. Yep. Great. This is probably class doing your homework, leaving a class study, but we had a great conversation today that Okay, going to try to stay on Wednesdays and get yeah, yeah. did a bit of a calendar which I'll give you a copy of today. Um, while you guys are talking, I'll write it out and photocopy it. Um, so we're down to 26 periods before the show, right? So that's 26 hours. Um, now it sounds like a lot, but yeah, um, that's all right. Well, it's essentially it's essentially three days. Like if you were putting on this show, it would be three eight hour days, essentially. Now I'm standing next to a massive delivery that's just arrived. And these are the instruments that our year sevens and eights get to play in music class. So all the year sevens at our school get an instrument in their hand for about three terms. And then they can decide at year eight whether they continue or not. We've had two classes decide to continue for this year. But these are the instruments they'll get. So pretty exciting time for our music teachers as they unwrap these and check them out for the year. Well, it's Saturday morning and I have just arrived at work because it is the first day of our rehearsals for our musical, The Adams Family. So for the teacher knockers out there that think that we only work from 9 to 3.30, today this one is for you. It's only one of many nights and weekends I'll be at work this year. Like many, many teachers, the days of 9 to 3.30 are well and truly over. Uh, I don't know a school that starts at 9 o'clock anymore. Our students are in class at 8.25 every day and finish around 3.20. So that's the minimum they do. Of course, we have nights that go to 5.36 at least once a week with either meetings or other activities. But being in performing arts means you do a lot of hours outside the core business day. An example of this was only last night when our director of music was here till 10 p.m. because the school hosted a classic car show and required some entertainment. So we had some current and ex-students perform on a stage 
and our director of music was here to do the sound work, uh, to pack up, to set up. And it's just another example of where teachers, particularly in the performing arts, have to do that little bit extra as part of our job. Okay, we have the whole cast here for rehearsal, 50 students doing their stuff for the Adams family. Okay, rehearsal done and dusted, and that is another week down on the Mock Project. If you like what you're seeing at the moment, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you next week on the Mock Project. Mock Project.